Uh, hi, I'm going to do a walkthrough for the tune of Cumberland Gap and I'm in Cumberland Gap tuning. I'm just going to put my camera down so you can see a little bit better what's happening on the fingerboard. Cumberland Gap tuning is normally F, D, G, C and D. So that would be F, that would be D, G, C and D. But I'm playing a really old banjo. Um, with Nile gut strings and it won't get up to those uh, tunings and stay there so there's no point trying I'll play it on my own anyway so it doesn't matter uh, I'm lower than that if you tune your fourth string to that note you'll be able to play along with, with what I'm doing okay this is a, the, the important chord shape that you need for this tuning which is 3rd fret 4th string, 2nd fret 3rd string, 2nd string open, 3rd fret on the 1st string. And that gives you the F chord. And the 5th string should sound the same as the 1st string. Okay, and then so the tune goes like this. basic version of the A part um, and I'll give some variations for that in a minute or two but, but with the claw hammer this is what it sounds like and so on normally I would do two A parts and then two of the B parts and, and the B part sounds like this seen that I'm going up into that chord shape in the normal tuning that's a B flat chord and it's the it's the same as the F chord but moved over two strings so it's the third fret on the third string second fret on the second string third fret on the first string and if you really want to you can wrap your thumb on two there you don't have to do that So one of the variations I do is um, uh, this, so it goes, same start, hammer on to the third fret. So what that does is it hammers off from the second fret to the third fret on the third string, and then the second string open. Now I do that with a drop thumb normally in a claw hammer. So that's that's a, a normal note, hammer on, and then you um, down strike on the second string, and then a drop them onto the third string, third fret. I 
I've just changed that second part of the A part a little bit so it goes. <laughs> pull-offs, third fret, first string, and then open second string, and then uh, second fret, third string, pull-off, So, so with that variation, and the uh, B part, and then all together. So that's that. Play around with it. Uh, sing the words if that helps, because it helps you get the notes in the right place. And um, yeah, nice old tune. Cheers.